All right, what do we got? Uh, oh, baby, there we go! My name is Lee Steinfeld. I go by Leonhard online, and I love to open shiny cardboard on YouTube. Today, I'm here at PSA because I am grading some cards, Pokemon cards, that are pretty special and near and dear to my heart, and I'm excited to check them out today. And on that note, we shall begin. Okay, so here's the first card. It is a Skyridge Starmie that I pulled myself in a video. In fact, most of the cards I actually pulled myself. It is a PSA 10 Gem Mint. Very, very nice, albeit I did expect this one to come back a 10. So I'm very, very happy that such a beautiful card uh, from my favorite set of all time is Skyridge. As we are moving on to the next one, and this is, okay. <laughs> Now I'm nervous, so this is a Neo Genesis Typhlosion. Uh, pulled it myself, surprise. Uh, this one is the unlimited print of Neo Genesis. Always has print lines, has had print lines in it for so long. Uh, so we will see what this one is. Expecting a nine, I would be very happy with the 10. It is, oh, it's an ace. Oh, wow. So first surprise of the day. At least it does have two swirls on it, so I'll be with that. So I'll have to take a closer look at this one and see something that I missed. So, all right, so a little unhappy with that one, but you know, that's just how it is because there's always something that you just don't see. Okay, now I'm really nervous about this one, but at this point I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna get. Uh, Reverse Holographic Legendary Collection Pikachu, a set that's notorious for print lines. So it's gonna be like an eight now. Let's just, it's a nine, I'll take a nine. All right, was really hoping for that 10. That would have been a uh, pretty big history there, but again, very, very happy with the PSA 9. Okay, what do we got next? This is, all right, so this is an Aquapolis Entei Holographic. Uh, my guess, if we're doing guess the grade now, is that I guess it's gonna be a 10. Oh, it's a nine. Okay, so we'll have to check on my buddy old pal Entei here, why that one got a nine. But it's okay, so so far, we started out hot with the Starmie, went a little low with the Typhlosion. Still doing well, you can't be upset with nines on those. Uh, got a few left, okay, so let's see. Wow, okay, so this is a really big one. It's the Victory Orb card. Basically, it was a prize card given out in Japan in 2005, and it's the first time that it has Mew on it like such. All right, what do we got? Uh, oh, baby, there we go! There we go, a PSA 10. Victory Orb. Now it is a Japanese card. They are actually usually printed in much better quality. So I'm very, very, that is a massive win. All right, so we're like working our way up here. What do we got next? Like I'm like looking away, like I just, the box is covering it. Okay, so wow. Okay, so this is a 2011 Victory Cup card. Uh, less than 100 copies in the world. Let us see, as if I remember correctly, I think there's only one PSA maybe 10 ever, otherwise there's no other pops of this card from PSA. And it is a 10! Oh my goodness, the second 10 in the entire world, a PSA 10 first place victory cup card. My goodness, that's two for two. I have the third place one of that one now. Uh, again, I'm just talking to myself here, so. All right, so here's the third place of the same 2011 victory cup prize cards. It's gotta be a 10, let's see it. It is a 10 to complete the sweep. Three 10s, I, ex I thought those would get 10s. Clearly Typhlosion's just like eh over there, but I am very, very happy with the results. I'm giving myself a pat on back for that. Okay, uh, there's less than 100 copies of each of these uh, that were ever given out or ever made. And so uh, during 2011 actually, which is uh, when Japan had the big tsunami, so uh, a lot of uh, people really rallied around Pokemon at the time and they still had these events. So 2011 year, it makes it just a, a bit more meaningful. Uh, what is this one? Oh, okay. Speaking of first edition base set, Polyrath. That was my first uh, holographic that I pulled as a kid. So I'm really, not this specific one, but I did pull this one in a video relatively soon. Probably an eight or nine, let's see. It's a PSA 9, so I'll give it golf claps, like little snaps for that. That's 
Really, really nice actually. So a PSA 9 first edition polyurath. I will take that. Next up is the Zapdos. That one I actually think is worse quality than the Polyrath. So if it comes back in nine, I'll be very happy. Is it the Zapdos? It is. So first edition Zapdos also pulled by yours truly. It is. And wow. Hmm, an 8.5. I don't see too many 8.5s. I will be partially enthusiastic about that. That's actually really cool. I'll take the 8.5 actually. So very, very nice. Wow, all right. So we've had some very nice wins so far. Are we at the, the main event? Here's the beautiful PSA box. These are the uh, 2023 Pokemon World Championship trophy cards. First place all the way to third place for the most recent World Championship, first time ever uh, in Japan, and it was in Yokohama. So I'm very excited to see what's, what's this first card gonna be, but I'm gonna gently take it out. All right. Well, that's the first, oh, okay. I can't see the first place one right away, jeez. Let's see, this is probably the second place one. It is, okay. So here we go. This is the third place World Championship trophy card. My guess is a nine, but then again, what do I know? It's a 10! Oh my gosh. Well, this is giving me very, very nice and happy thoughts right now. A beautiful, and that looks gorgeous in that PSA case too, my goodness. I've had these displayed for so long, like on my shelf, now it's just so cool to have it in a case, regardless of the grade, but I can't, I'm ecstatic. All right, moving on to, wait, was this the second one? This is the first one, what am I doing? Okay, second one, uh, now this one has to be a 10, I'm just gonna go right into it. It's a 10. I, I knew that though, like it's it was the best as far as Pokemon quality goes, but I am very, very happy with the results. I'm giving myself a pat on back for that. Okay, the first one, again, if we can somehow make the hat trick, uh, this would be insane, but regardless, again, I'm, I'm very uh, grateful to have this card. Let's see. It's a nine, but that is okay because we got we got two out of three. We got two out of three. So it's uh, still though, to see them all like this, all slabbed up, uh, it really is special. Whew, I think that's it there. Now I just want to like ooh and ah at the cards and stuff. 